Thank you for joining me again. Uh, I must say I'm, I'm now getting into uh, the part of, of this you've been served that really uh, has excited me and I trust that it will excite you. I, uh, I'm grateful for this opportunity to, to break the bread of life with you again in the morning for those of you who watch in the morning or even for those of you who watch later on in the day. Uh, the Word of God is powerful. doesn't matter what time of day we, we are consuming it or partaking of it. The Word of God will go into you, go into your inner man, uh, the innermost parts of your being. And that's just the wonderful thing about God's Word. So I'm going to pick up where we left last time, which is oneness in the faith. And we were speaking about oneness of who Jesus is. Pastor John, Pastor Sharon is oneness in the faith. So I'm going to keep going with that. Uh, with that particular scripture, Ephesians 4, verse 13. So remember, we're being equipped to build the church. Until we all attain, this is verse 13 in the Amplified, until we all attain oneness in the faith and in all the comprehension and knowledge of the Son of God, that we might arrive at really mature manhood. We, we, um, uh, this is the Amplified Bible really mature manhood the completeness of personality which is nothing less than the standard height of christ's own perfection the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ i've got that underlined in my bible the fullness of christ that is what we're after we're not playing church in heritage of faith we all desire to be like Christ and to reach the full stature, the fullness of Christ. Verse 14, this is so powerful for me. So we may no longer be children. <laughs> I wanted to talk about this just for a moment. That you and me may, long, may no longer be children. So if you think about the nature of a child, what is it as a parent, or even if you're a child, what is it the in the nature of a child that we, in this instance, we are not wanting to be a child? Well, a child wants to do what they want to do whenever they want to do it. They want to have fun all the time. They want to do as little responsibility as possible they, and when they do something wrong, they don't want to take accountability or responsibility for doing it. In fact, a child, if they know they've done something, they will run so that they're, they're not held accountable for this thing that they've done, that they know they shouldn't have done. A child wants to take the easiest route possible. So what is the scripture saying? So then that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro. So in terms of what this means to be a spiritual child, not looking for the easiest way, not looking for the easiest way to having a healthy relationship, to having healthy relationships in the home, having healthy relationships in the, in the church, um, having divine health. Yes, it will, it will mean that you will have to be to grow up in this. So there may mean some responsibility on your half that you watch what you eat because that's the wisdom of God, that you don't eat whatever you want whenever you want to eat it. To grow up in the management of finances, for us to be wealthy the way God that says that we can wealthy, He also expects us to be faithful with, with the income that comes to us. All right? Praise the Lord. This is the way that we reach the fullness of Christ. So basically, in a nutshell, Pastor John and Pastor Sharon are here to help us grow up. For you and for me to grow up. Why must we grow up? And this is what I'm so excited about and I'm sure you're excited with me. Because this is Pastor John and Pastor Sharon's main aim. Please go with me to Ephesians 4 verse 10. So you just need to go back a couple of scriptures. Halfway through verse 10. That he, 
being Jesus, that His presence might fill all things. The whole universe, from the lowest to the highest. So why should we grow up? So that the presence of Christ can be full in us and the presence of Christ can fill the earth. And remember what scripture says about where his presence is. There is fullness of joy. There is liberty. There is provision for everybody, not just some. There's provision for all. There's rejoicing. There is singing. But this is what I wanted to get to and then we'll close. The unlocking of the kingdom of God in this way, in you and me, for you and me, must first happen by getting a revelation of who Jesus the Christ is to you and to me and who Pastor John and who Pastor Sharon are. They are His. So if they are His, then they are ours. They are a gift to us. They serve Him. And in doing so, they serve us. We have been served, church. We have a beautiful spiritual couple that live to serve us. We have been served. And we'll get into something that's very exciting to me still in John in the next session. Thank you for listening.